Our guest tonight is a fantastic actor who stars on one of the best shows on television succession, the mighty, the magnificent Matthew McFadden is here tonight. I'm so happy to see you. How are you, Matthew? I'm very well. I'm over excited to see you. It's I'm, been a while it in, the, it, I mean, in the Zoom flesh. Yes, yeah. to see you in the Zoom flesh is yeah. gorgeous. Now, yes. there is so much to talk about. You're in London. I know that you attended the Black Lives Matter protest in London this weekend. How was it? Talk yeah. to me about how it felt at that protest in London this weekend. You went to, um, we went to the one yesterday at uh, the US Embassy and it was my daughter, Maggie, her, my 15 year old daughter, so it was her. I mean, we hadn't, I don't know why we hadn't thought of going, but we, we just sort of hadn't figured and she was absolutely determined that we did. And then we thought, of course, so we did. And it was, um, it was brilliant and I'm glad we went. Yeah, the, all of the all of the footage I've seen, it, it, the majority of the footage I've seen, was it seemed like quite a, quite a very very beautiful, positive experience for yeah. lots of people. You sort of feel a bit hopeless in the face of things like that because you think, what can I do? And actually, just by going there was just, and there was a real, there was a, it was a sort of amazing atmosphere, James. It was sort of, um, it was very calm and charged at the same time. Yes. Now, obviously, the last three months for 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 everybody have been tough and challenging. With, with this shelter in place that we've had, but you are, you and Keely and your family, you're the kind of family that I've thought about the most because we have three young children. Ours are nine, five and two. And we have found ourselves constantly saying, oh, I'm pleased we haven't got three teenagers in the house. Because I think that is, that's, I think really terrible. And you have three teenagers in your we house. Have. What's it been like? They've been really cool. They've been great, actually. I would love to say that they've been a nightmare and we've been fighting it, but actually they sort of, they're just, they're a little bit teenagerish, but they're pretty good, really. I try, Keely and I try, we were trying straight to the beginning of lockdown and we instigated, it was my idea, we instigated this um, reading hour idea. I That's thought good. we'd do a reading hour every day. Mm. And so at five o'clock, we all, I insisted and there was lots of complaining and we all sat in the living room and read our books and it didn't work. And my son, my son, I heard a, I heard a, a ping, and he had his mobile behind his book. Oh wow! He set off, and then my daughter went, "Daddy, this is creepy." <laughs> Sitting there, so it didn't work. So it lasted a day. I said, "Right, okay, you have reading hour in your bedrooms." And they went. Back yeah, and you can convince yourself that they're reading somewhere safe exactly. in the knowledge that they're on their phones. Exactly. Now I haven't seen you uh, to tell you how much. I love Succession. I think it is one of the best written and performed shows on television, certainly at the moment, but I, th I think of like the last decade. It is so good. Did you know when you were making the show that you were working on something this special? Uh, well, you you know what it's like. You never know how it's going to turn out. You sort of hope for the best. And I think the what I did know was that the right, apart from, you know, you suddenly become aware that you're working with extraordinary actors. I mean, they're just brilliant. It's like working with an amazing theatre company. Yes. You know, going for it. But you know, you, the writing, it's the writing. It's always the writing. And it, it was, it's so funny and interesting and scabrous and caustic. And, and it's funny, you know. So I... It's so, it was like a slow build, the first series, as opposed to a big fanfare. It was more sort of, have you seen this show? Perhaps you ought to be watching it. And it felt like a slow burn, which was good. Um, and so towards the end of it, you were sort of aware that it was sort of gathering momentum a little bit. What were, what were the moments that made you think, oh, wow, this show has jumped from good show on television to show that everybody's talking about? I don't know. I think there's... <laughs> I was at an awards bash uh, after the first season and I got tapped on the shoulder by, I was just sort of gazing space, and I got tapped on the shoulder by Ben Stiller and I thought I was really thrilled with that. He was like, I love it. Stiller's the benchmark. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the, you're right, the, uh, the, the cast in the show are so incredible. Like, there is not a weak link anywhere no. across the entire no. show. So when you were at like, your first read through, of the show and you all sit down and read the script. Was there a moment when you're thinking, oh God, everyone's amazing? Because I actually yeah. find that quite terrifying. I'm quite happy if someone is not that great. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> then you start thinking it might be me. Yeah, yeah. 
the worst in the acting department. I was doubly scared, not only that, but I was, because I was doing an American accent and I was really frightened. But your accent really is so good. Well, I, well, thank you. That's very kind of you. But I was, I was really scared. I hadn't really, I hadn't done it before. I'd done it once on stage in London, uh, but it's hard. Yeah. It's really hard. But it's it helps so good. when everyone's around you, and you know. But I'm also not one of those actors. I probably should be. I'm. I don't stay. I don't talk in the accent all the time. Some actors do. Yeah, I just feel a bit so, silly. I think. Yeah, it's feel a bit daft. <laughs> yeah. But that, yeah. look, and they're like that's not enough. Succession, one of the biggest shows on TV this year. You also have your brilliant new show, Quiz, which has already been on at home and has been just one of the biggest successes of the year. It's now on in America. For anyone who doesn't know, tell them about Quiz and who you play. So Quiz is the story of um, this couple who go on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The, and at that time was the most, uh, was the biggest biggest game show on the planet, I yeah. suppose. Um, squillions of people watched it every night and it was a million quid and it was a big deal that, you know, this, this was, two, I think it started in the late 90s or early 2000s. And they go on the show and they're a very sort of middle class, certain type of English couple and they go on and they win the million uh, over two nights and it turns out that the production company who make the show smell a rat and they they decide to call the police they think he's cheated because his behavior on the second night is sort of erratic and odd and they don't like it and they think something's up and the police get involved and and um, they're arrested and they're and it goes to trial um, and that's the story, and this, and it's very cleverly done by um, Stephen Free as the director and James Graham, the writer. Yes. And it's very sort of really in a very brilliant, nuanced way because it, you see the, see it from the perspectives of the Ingrams and of the producers of the show, and then as a sort of courtroom drama. Um, yeah, it's good fun. It's good a fun. brilliant show, it, and I remember that time uh, mm. at home so vividly. Now you actually got to meet uh, Charles Ingram, the, the, the character that you play in the show. What did what was it like when you met him? Do you think he is capable of cheating? Well, we met Sean Clifford, who plays Diana. We met them very briefly in between setups on the last day of shooting because we'd sort of it's so odd you know, you're playing somebody and you know so we didn't and uh, but they were lovely they were really sweet so that was sort of fine and but I I'm I'm sort of agnostic I don't know I really don't know whether they did it and I sort of don't mind not knowing or oh, I don't mind if they did or they didn't you know what I mean I, what what I found really fascinating was their relationship yes throughout it because their lives were totally upended yeah I mean um and they would they sort of I I think it's fair to say they probably suffered disproportionately to the crime that they were accused of you know they were really vilified in the press and the Page. Oh, for sure. It was it was real. I mean, there was a, there was a real moment in time where they were the most famous couple in the country. Yeah. I've heard from some people that they think they cheated, but not in the way that they were yeah. accused of. The show yes. is brilliant. You, as always, are fantastic in it. It's it's a really great watch. Let's take a look at a clip from Quiz. The final episode is this mm. Sunday at nine on AMC. I haven't. I, no, I've never heard of a Google. Know the answer? Yes, it's Google. That's what I thought. Google. Google. Yeah, I mean, but you know, by process of elimination, I actually think it is a Google, but I just don't know what a Google is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Stick around. More with Matthew when we come back. Now, Matthew, we've been doing this thing while we've been doing these shows in lockdown of a late, late show and tell where we ask our guests if they would share something from their home with us that we may otherwise never get to see. Do you have anything you'd like to, to share with us tonight? Well, I do. Now you ask. I've got two things. <laughs> I've got two things. One, just one very quickly. This is from Nick Braun, who plays cousin Greg. Yes. He gave everybody a mug. <gasps> on season one. Look at that. I am acting CEO. So that's in honor of Nick. I love called... that. He is yeah. so brilliant. Yeah, he's very tall. And yes, very, very... he's a tall man. There's no denying it. And what um, else? In this, in this blue box, uh, 
my our makeup lady on quiz, our makeup designer, Judy Kendrick, who's an absolute genius. Jedi mind tricked me into getting these made for Charles. And I was quite resistant at the beginning. Um, but I'm so glad I did. Because you know, as an actor, you know what it's like when you put on a certain a bit of clothing or a something and it something unlocks up. These teeth sort of did it for me. Oh, and look at that. There he is. There's Charles Ingram. <laughs> yeah. And I can save them for my creepy vicar. You really, I was like, just about yeah. to say you look like a like, sort of in a sketch show, a sort of creepy priest. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing. That's amazing. Reggie, do you have a question for any of our guests this evening? I do. Uh, tonight's question goes to. Uh, let's make it for Matt. Okay. Okay. Here, here we go. Uh, have you ever walked down a road of impossibility? and realize that if you are walking on that road, then nothing is impossible? Yes, every day. <laughs> as, my, as my athleisure wear gets tighter and tighter in lockdown. <laughs> Reggie? Yes, that's correct. It's absolutely correct. Thank you so much for right being on? here. I cannot wait to see you soon. It has been gorgeous just to see you over this Zoom, Zoom FaceTime, Zoom whatever place. this yeah. is. Ladies and gentlemen, the brilliant Matthew McFadden will be right back with a performance from Jesse Ware.